Hi, my name is Jovan, and today you'll be learning how to make a custom metahuman of yourself or anyone that you have a 3D model of their head for. Now, Unreal Engine has had metahumans available for a few months now, but they recently came up with a really cool update that changes the game with creating metahumans. Previously, you had a lot of customization, but it was still kind of difficult to make one that looked just like you or just like someone that you needed it to. Now, using a new function called Mesh to Metahuman, you're able to take any 3D model of a human head and turn that into a metahuman to have that ultra realistic look and rig automatically created for you. So, what you've got to do is start with a 3D model of a head. You can do this by modeling one yourself, but the easiest way is to just have a 3D scan of your head using any photogrammetry or photo scanning software that you have. So, what I used for this was just Polycam, and I just did a quick scan of my head uh, with a bunch of different photos from every different angle and uploaded this to my computer. Then you've got to make sure you have Unreal Engine 5 installed and the MetaHuman plugin. Now, this plugin isn't actually built into Unreal Engine yet, so you have to get it through the Marketplace. So to do this, just open up your Epic Games launcher, click Marketplace and search for MetaHuman, and it'll come up with a MetaHuman plugin here. Click to download it and install it to your engine. Then, when you open up your Unreal Engine project, you'll have to enable that plugin. So to do this, create a new Unreal Engine project, go to the top left corner, go to Edit, Plugins, and search for MetaHuman, and enable this plugin. It'll prompt you to restart your Unreal project here as well in the bottom right corner. So click this to enable and apply the plugin. Then import your textured model into Unreal. In your content browser, right click and go MetaHuman and find the MetaHuman identity option. Click on this to create a MetaHuman identity and rename it to whatever you want and open it. At the top of this MetaHuman identity window, click the components from mesh drop down arrow and search for and select your head mesh. Now, line up this window's viewport to be front on with the face, click on the neutral pose option on the left side of your window and then click promote frame from the top bar of this window. This will lock this frame choice in. Then at the top bar again, click Track Active Frame, which will auto-assign some trackers onto the face. On the right-hand side of the window, you can add more trackers. If you want to track other views as well for even higher quality, at the bottom left corner of the window, press the plus icon, find a new frame and do the same steps. You can adjust the trackers by clicking on them and moving the little points around to make it super accurate. Now, once you've adjusted the trackers and are happy with the state of the ball, go to the left side of your MetaHuman Identity window and select Body and choose a body type for your MetaHuman. You can change this later in the MetaHuman Creator Online. Then go to the top bar of the window and click MetaHuman Identity Solve. Once this is done, you can click Mesh to MetaHuman and that's it. You've just sent your data to the MetaHuman Creator Online, which will do all the rest of the processing for you. It should only take a few moments and once it's done, it'll have a pop-up prompt saying that it's ready. Then you can go to the online MetaHuman Creator and adjust anything you want, add skin tones and refine the final touches. To do these final touches in the MetaHuman Creator Online, you need to make sure that you've gone onto the, onto the online creator, selected your MetaHuman and clicked Edit Selected. Then click Custom Mesh at the top left corner and press Enable Editing and then Duplicate and Unlock in this new pop-up window. You can now make your adjustments. If you again click Custom Mesh, it'll let you refine each individual part of the face. So for example, at the moment, unless you're bald, it'll assume that your hair is part of your head mesh. So it'll often have like some lumpy parts around here. So you can reduce the region influence of that section there by selecting the part of your head on the top left corner and then going to the region influence and sliding this down. So I actually just slid it all the way down to zero and then just press the little sculpt option like you used to do a metahuman and adjust my forehead a bit. Now, because this creator doesn't do hair very well, if you are doing it for somebody whose hair covers their ears, this probably won't work. Uh, if you see this example here, this is one that I tried to do of a friend of mine and you can see it assumed that the hair was part of the scalp and made this monstrosity. I promise she doesn't actually look like that in person, it's just, it's not great with hair. So a best bet is to kind of tie up the hair at the back of your head and have as much of your facial features in frame as possible and make your model as high quality as possible as well. You can do a lot of this cleanup in a software like Blender as well. You can do it or refine the model at all. But this is just a really quick way on how to do it if you follow the steps in this video. Now you notice that the skin doesn't actually have a texture on it yet. So to do this, just click on the skin tab in the sidebar and then where it says color, click assign. You can now pick whatever color you want for your skin tone. So match it as close as possible. A helpful tip which I used was actually just either you can have a photo next to it or you can even just hold your hand next to the screen of the computer and you can try and just closely match your skin tone to your face skin tone. So that will kind of work. As you can see, it's essentially the same color. So that's a really helpful, quick way, quick way to see what color it is if you don't have a photo of yourself on your computer. And that's it, you're done. You've just created a custom metahuman of yourself or whatever 3D model scan head that you have. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and learned something new. This is an incredible tool and I can't wait to create some things with my own like custom metahuman of myself. It was super simple to use and I hope that you find that too. If you do have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos or anything you'd like figured out, uh, please comment down there as well and I'll, try and, and I'll try and make that possible. If you enjoyed what you saw and want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.